Um, first, a little bit about Tassel for those who don't know us. Um, we're the largest seafood and salmon uh, company in Australia. So this year we'll probably be producing upwards of 30,000 metric tons of salmon annually. Um, a lot of people don't realize too that we also have a seafood distribution arm to our company in Sydney. But in Tassel or in Tasmania, Tassel is a pretty important um, food producer. We're an important employer. Uh, we employ about 1,200 people uh, as a company. We're very vertically integrated, and most of those employees are in Tasmania. We have about 14 marine farms uh, active at any time, three active hatcheries, primary proce processing plants, and value added processing plants. But, you know, as a food producer, a seafood producer, and distributor, um, sustainability, responsible uh, sourcing and production, and food security is part of our DNA. And at TASSEL, and I want, what I wanted to do today is I, I'll talk a little bit about our sustainability program and what we're doing and our certifications and reporting and that sort of thing. But what I want to talk about today, because we're in the context of the sustainable um, agriculture initiative platform, I want to talk about the future thinking and food security and climate change and what we can do as food producers because that's kind of about the essence of what we're achieving here as a group. I'm inspired every time we have a meeting to talk about the issues that we all face and, and how we are going to feed people nutritionally, uh, affordably, and fairly uh, into the future, and, and how we're going to make sure everyone has enough food and we look after our planet at the same time, which is an immense challenge. At TASSEL, we're planning 5, 10, 20 years in advance now for all our production. We have a three-year production cycle, but we're thinking many, many years out. And obviously, climate change and the changing conditions around us are a very important factor to our planning. And we actually have put a lot of attention uh, and focus on how we're going to grow uh, protein going forward in, in the changing conditions that we see now. So we've invested a lot in the science in that, but we're also looking at how do we do that sustainability in the marine, or sustainably in the marine environment, which is also a, a big challenge. I'm a marine scientist by training, and I can tell you that what we don't know about the ocean is a lot more than what we know about the ocean. So there's a lot of work to do in that space, and some of the things that we're focusing on now is around looking at marine shared value planning, so how can we assimilate and be part of a larger marine resource in a way that's socially and environmentally acceptable, and that means new ways of planning our development, uh, new ways of operating our facilities, and new ways of engaging with our stakeholders, and that, that's a really big focus for us going forward. Uh, one of the things that I'm really excited about that I'm doing uh, internationally and Tassel has taken a lead on is around uh, something called, and it's a mouthful, um, IMTA or Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture. What we're looking at now, and we've been for two years growing seaweeds at various um, areas around our salmon farms, is that we're looking at co-production of shellfish, seaweed, and salmon. And the idea is to have an ecosystem sorry, ecosystem service benefit, but also um, an improved shared value benefit for the economy of where we're operating. So it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. We're looking at what can be commercially viable for seaweed, what has a nutritional benefit, what has an environmental offset benefit, and what has a job creation benefit. And that's just part of the stuff that we're doing now is uh, looking forward, you know, that won't be a commercially viable um, option in the next year or two, but give it five years, 10 years, 15 years, that's going to be something that will probably be the next wave of farming our oceans. Pretty excited about that. The other thing that we work on, and we've been doing it since 2012, is life cycle assessments of our product, or LCAs, and that means looking at the costs of our product um, environmentally and socially in some insta instances, and factoring economics in from kind of cradle to grave. So understanding our whole supply chain, our whole um, uh, growth of the animal, our feeding of the animal, and the movement of the product around, uh, and our use of fossil fuels or water or electricity in that process. What we're doing now, which I think is really exciting, and I think again showcases 
the importance of organizations like this and us coming together from various food producers is we're looking at the link now between terrestrial farming and marine farming and where the crossovers are and where we can support each other to offset some of the impacts and how we can keep working to create you know, um, nutritious and low environmental impact food for not only Australia, but for the rest of the world. And on my last note, I'm going to say we're working on a project now um, internationally in that area, looking at the UN Sustainable Development Goals and how we can incorporate that bigger dialogue into responsible development, not just as salmon farmers, not just as dairy farmers, not just as grain producers, but as farmers in general. I think we need to put our head together, we need to work together in a pre-competitive space for the betterment of the environment, but for food security for all of Australia and for the world going forward. We've just, on the last note, I just want to say that um, we just published our most recent sustainability report. We released it last week. Um, we have a lot of detail in there and what we do around all these goals and targets and, and our, you know, all our different use and the LCA um, facts and figures that I just talked about in certifications. It's at www.tasselgroup.com.au and I hope you take a time to take a look at it and just see in depth more some of the work we're doing. Thank you. Thank you.